Hey everyone, welcome back to LT++. So this is the fourth tutorial of ENDC and today we will discuss the ENDC call flow and before starting I would like to give you a quick review of options available available in ENDC. So three options are available, option 3, option 3a and your option 3x. Okay. So in option 3 the bearers used are your MCG bearer mcg bearer which terminates at master node right this is my mcg bearer and the other bearer which is available in option 3 is your mcg split bearer so it will look like this here and at pdcp layer we split this bearer via this so it's a combination of mcg bearer plus mcg split bearer Okay, I have already explained these uh, types of bearer in previous tutorials. Okay, this MCG and what is MCG split, what is SCG split bearers. Okay, so please visit that tutorial before uh, going through this part four. Okay, and in option three, we have MCG bearer and your SCG bearer. SCG bearer which terminates at secondary road. Okay, so it's a combination of MCG bearer plus SCG bearer. Okay, and option 3x it has MCG bearer. See, all options have the MCG bearers with them. Okay, MCG bearer and the other bearer available here is your SCG bearer. Oh, sorry, SCG split bearer. This and at PDCP will split this bearer like this. Okay, so it is having MCG plus SCG split pair. Okay, fine. Now let's start the call flow. Okay, so generally operator prefers op to use option 3x. Okay, so we'll study the call flow in option 3x. Okay. So again, this is my master node. Master node, master node that is E node B, right? That is 4G base station. And this is my secondary node that is 5G base station, your G node B. And it has MME. See 4G core, we, we, we are going to use 4G core ENDC, so it will have MME and your SGW. Okay, this one. And we have a ENDC capable UE available here. Okay. Got it. Okay, so we are going to power on this UE, right? Power on. So what will happen? This UE will initiate the 4G attached procedure with this master node. Okay. Let me tell you the what are the important things that you have to keep in your mind for ENDC. Okay, so this is my master node, this is my secondary node, this is my UE, this is my uh, core part, right? So you have powered on this UE. So first of all, what it will do, it will perform the RAJ procedure that we, that is 4G RAJ procedure. Okay. And after that RAJ procedure, <coughs> it will establish the RC connection, all things it will follow, right? That, uh, that UE is supposed to follow for 4G RAJ procedure. Okay. And the important thing is that this master node will send a message which is known as UE capability inquiry. Okay. It's a message of uh, 4G attached procedure. Okay. So here, uh, master node wants to know uh, what are the capabilities of UE. Okay. So UE will respond the respond with message UE capability UE capability information. Okay, 
so it will inform that it uh, that uh, ENDC support is available with this V okay and it will inform that I support 5G RAT also that is radio access technology and along with these things it will also inform the bands or combination of bands you can say that is 4G and 5G bands supported by this UE okay uh, right so now master node will come to know that this this UE supports ENDC so if necessary I'll uh, add this secondary node for this UE okay fine so next thing what this master node will do master node will send RRC connection reconfiguration okay RRC connection reconfiguration okay so in this RRC connection reconfiguration the important thing means uh, obviously it will carry your uh, attach accept message okay attach accept message it will carry and the important thing which is related to your ENDC is that it will carry a maze ID maze ID which is made up of maze object ID right maze object ID and your report config ID right report config so maze object ID it will inform about ERFCM okay and in report config ID it will send the event that uh, that means network is configuring in UE so important event is your B1 okay so this B1 event is related to ENDC okay and it will also provide the threshold so let's say threshold is your minus 100 6 dbm okay so this maze id is configured so that we will uh, send the measurement report with this event b1 okay say for example uh, this endc capable ue uh, is in connected mode with this master node okay and uh, now this ue starts moving towards secondary node okay so initially the signal strength of secondary node will be minus 110 then minus 107 then minus 106 then minus 105 so minus 105 so at this point means minus 105 is greater than or you can say it's better than minus 106 or it's just better than minus 106 so at this point the threshold is meet right threshold has been met at this point so what this UE will do you will send the measurement report to master node with this event b1 okay it will be a measurement report okay with event b1 event or you can say it will have some this maze id will have some number let's say it is having maze id 3 so it will send the maze id 3 in measurement report okay so in that measurement report uh, you can say ue is informing master node that i am getting better signal strength from this secondary node okay so if you want you can uh, proceed uh, for uh, addition of this secondary node using endc procedure okay so these are the important things that uh, you have to keep in your mind uh, for endc okay during initial attached procedure of UE with master node okay okay so uh, I'm closing this lecture here okay so see you in next lecture thank you